Hello. Uh, I want to show today how to go from LiDAR uh, compressed files to TIFF format. Uh, so today we are not opening HEC-RAS, but I do think this is an important process behind in GIS because the yeah the terrain data is really important for for our model. So what we are going to use today is something I download from the from the Spanish um, download system. Uh, so it's from from this uh, uh, website, uh, and I downloaded the last format. So we are gonna do two steps: uh, transform this point to LAS, L A S, and then transform them to TIFF. How we are gonna do this is using a program called LAS Tools that you can download from here. Really recommendable and. Uh, we what we find in this uh, in this uh, program is this uh, folder that is called last tools. Inside last tools, uh, there is some subfolder called bin, and here we can find uh, all the executables that we are today. We are going to use just two. The first is last to last, and here we are going to do something important as well because. Um, Yes, I want to show you. I, I'm using Cloud Compare to show the points because I think it's it's really user friendly and easy. So what I have here is two files. I have the LA set last and also the LAS last. Uh, and you can see that from one to another, I've classified the points so that I only have in my in my LAS file the ground data, the data that belongs to the terrain, because the original cloud um, cloud has everything, has vegetation, has buildings, and so on. But I, for my hydraulic modeling, I just want the ground points, right? So how we are going to do this is using this uh, last to last. Uh, I'm going to close it because I use it for the other one. So we start from scratch. So we open last to last, and this window shows up. And first thing I'm gonna do is browse to my folder where I have uh, 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 where I have my LA sets file. Uh -uh. And then it's here, I double click, it's loaded. We could use the view button to see them. I just rather see them in Cloud Compact because it's more friendly. And then I'm going to filter the points by classification, clip classification, we'll keep number two. How do I know it's number two? Because LiDAR classification points is a standard. And you can see here a table which number two is, it is usually this way, is ground points. Maybe we will be also interested in keeping bathymetric points, which these clouds do not have, but it also has a, a specific um, classification which is not in this list, but I believe exists. So if it is your case, keep also the bathymetric points because it will be important for the, for the model. So we keep number two, we add this condition. Uh, for the output, we select the same folder that I'm using, just this window shows up and I choose to use current. And I want my output for my last, and that's it. I can run and I can start. And how do we know if this works or it doesn't is that we check in a, if in the folder where my first LA set file was, file was, there is a new one created just right now that is the LAS. I recommend you to, to cut this and put it in a specific folder. So in my case, I like to put it in the folder where it says last points. Um, yes, and what about this? And now the second point, so what we have managed to do so far is that we have the filter point cloud with only the ground points. So now I'm gonna create my raster. How I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna use again, another tool from last tools that is called blast to them that it's in here with double click, set another of this window, really similar shows up, but it's a bit different. So we are gonna do the same thing, go to uh, the folder where I have my data and I'm gonna use the leader, the last 
file that I've generated, I don't need to filter this time. The output, I'm gonna just put it in the same folder, use current, amazing. The step, the step is the resolution. What is gonna be the size of the raster? I'm gonna leave it one. So it's gonna be one meter resolution. And output format, I'm gonna use diff. The item is elevation, which is correct, and we run. This window shows up and I start. And let's see if that works. How do we see this? If okay, amazing. The diff file was created and we can open it in QGIS. So this will be the raster created from, from the cloud that we saw here. And we can see that we are actually having a, a hole in the data, but because there are no points there, there is no ground that has been uh, um, encountered or measured. And we, use, we shall need to use another technique as a um, filling interpolation raster data so that we create a uniform and complete raster. Knowing that the bathymetry of the river is not there. Shall we correct this? What shall we do? That's, that's a, another issue, right? But at least this model could be used for maybe for inundation purposes, knowing that we are missing bathymetric data. And that's it, I hope you like it. Um, if you wanna know more, if this wasn't enough, I totally recommend the sign up for my newsletter, although it's mostly in Spanish now. Uh, and uh, yeah. If uh, you're welcome, if you have any questions, to just write it down there and have a beautiful day. <laughs> bye bye.